Hi, my name is Rachel Ellsworth and I'm a speech language pathologist and owner of Speech Corner. And today I'm here to demonstrate the use of our Speech Corner uh, photo cards for articulation carryover. So this um, particular box contains uh, 59 cards. So when you open it up, you're going to get an introduction card. And then on the reverse is a game ideas card, which gives you uh, four different ways to play. And then you'll get the table of contents. So the targets within this particular deck are F, TH, SH, CH, L, L clusters, S, S clusters, the R, and then the vocalic subsets of R. So you get initial R, then AR, OR, IRE, AIR, EAR, ER, and then R clusters. So you're gonna get five cards per sound, except for R, where you get two cards per vocalic subset. And then you also get five cards for your um, clusters. So you kind of get all the higher level um, Arctic targets. How they're set up is there's a photograph on one side, and then when you flip it over, you read or you have the student read, the paragraph, and then there's five follow-up questions. The paragraph has the articulation target bolded, and it shows up multiple times, um, usually between 10 to 15 times within the paragraph. And then the follow-up questions have, have it set up so that the answers um, typically contain one of the bolded um, words in, that show up in the paragraph. And so um, the photographs are nice and updated, uh, modern pictures of people and places um, that students would typically see. And there's a nice variety. It's geared for students working on higher level articulation practice. So these cards are good for all ages, um, kindergarten on up. Uh, Lots of SLPs working in the higher grades and in uh, junior high and even high school have used it because the photographs do target just everyday people and activities. It's not a lot of younger kids, um, so it is appropriate for all ages. And um, the nice paragraph written in the back is also appropriate for all ages. So it can be used for, with teens. That is a question that we get a lot. Um, those stubborn R and S that might go into junior high, these are good for carryover practice. So um, as well as we, we've used it with young second graders too. So feel free to check out more samples online at speechcorner.com if you feel that this is um, if you have clients on your caseload that are working on advanced articulation practice for carryover for um, your higher level sounds.